I sure am glad we finished harvest yesterday. So you may also be saying, harvest is done. So what now? We clean up. That's what we do now. Now I'm telling you guys, I normally do not operate like this. I cannot stand things being a mess. It is just the way that it happened this year, unfortunately. We upgraded the header right before harvest. <sighs> we blew up a ute <laughs> and uh, we were just on the back foot from the start. But at the end of the day, we got it all done. We got it all in the bank without getting any serious weather damage which is absolutely fantastic. Now I can use this time to get organized. We can uh, make sure we're on the front foot coming around to seeding time. <laughs> Just need to give this thing a bit of a blow down and this is how I like my organisation. Not the way we've been running this harvest, it's been an absolute shambles. Anyway, let's carry on. Have a look at this old bit of history here. This has been on the farm since it was bought brand new in I have no idea what year. I'm just looking at the sky because it's looking very threatening out here. Same with this old girl here. We bought that brand new back in the day, probably back in the 60s sometime, I reckon, for these guys. And we also have another one. We've got, we've got two of these old trucks. We've got an AA and an AB International. But yeah, we bought those brand new. They've been here since they were new. It's fascinating how long these old things hang around. I mean, I think this one was still running. It's just, it's a bit rough. <laughs> and the other one is still running and so is the old loader. The old loader still runs, it still does the odd jobs. I think every farm has to have an old loader or an old piece of gear laying around that they just use and it just keeps going. Just a quick history lesson, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I better get back to cleaning up here. Yes, oh, Mr. Cole, sorry. Yep. Okay, let's see you soon. All right. I might like quit cleaning out the ute here and uh, just got to go move the old CTS. Get that thing uh, out of the paddock where it is. So, anyway. Woo! What's that doing? Change your plans, let's get out of here. It's going to take that home now. Now. <laughs> well, we get over the other side of the hill and it's dusty and dry. Good times, good times. I'm wet as a shag, mate. <laughs> well, that was a good bit of fun. And we're about, uh, I don't know, four or five K away from where we just were. And it's not even a, a drop of rain, so. We had a very, very relaxing morning this morning, seeing as uh, it was end of harvest. So, haven't done a whole lot, but while it's nice and cool and gloomy out, it's already five o'clock, or quarter past five now. There's a couple of big rocks that I know about in these beans. Like I said, we pick them up every year, but every year we dig up more. So I might just sneak up and grab those rocks quickly while I'm, um, thinking about them and while I sort of remember fresh in my mind where they actually are. But I better be quick because I reckon that rain's going to come down this way. It's, it's peeking its head over the hill at the moment. I think I might be wasting my time doing this, but anyway. Here's one. Good size. 
Ah, almost too much for one hand. Oh, it is too much for one hand. Ah. That will make a mess of your header. Absolute perfect time to come pick up rocks. Straight after you've harvested a pulse crop. Because there's never too much left behind. And it's raining. Ah, uh, well, I think I better. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to give up on today. It's got to be a big one here. I've lifted up the front as I've gone over. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Yes, look at that. Oh. I'm going to need two hands for that one. Oh. Sorry, it's raining and uh, I needed two hands. Anyway, I think I might just uh, give up for the day and um, come back tomorrow. We did have a 30% chance of rain today and it's been sunny all day and now all of a sudden, boom. She's coming. She's coming. Anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow. Well, another day has just about slipped away. We ended up getting about 15 or 16 millimetres of rain last night or oh, and this morning. It was very cloudy and it was still raining this morning. It's been a little bit sloppy out here, so haven't really been too motivated to do too much. I was thinking, oh, I might get the uh, header out. It might start blowing that down this morning, but couldn't really do that, could I? Because it was raining, so. And uh, yeah, it's sort of half sticking out here from the shed and the front's sitting out in the rain. and. This is all going to be all wet and sloppy now. Hmm, not really what I wanted. Anyway, I've just been chipping away at a couple of things in the shed here, just sort of trying to clear up this area a little bit. It was, I don't know, there was, there was crap everywhere down here. I, I can't stand it to be honest, but I'm trying to sort it out, trying to get on top of it. Um, yeah, I might do a bit of machinery switcheroo and uh, yeah, might be able to get out and pick up the last of those rocks with this sun. It's drying out pretty quick, otherwise it might be a bit too slimy out there, but I think we'd be alright now. Might actually take the header out of the shed and just let that get a bit of sunshine on everything there, because all those beans and everything are going to be all wet and go rotten and smelly, so... If I turn it around now, get a bit of afternoon sun on it, then I might be able to actually clean some of it, uh, some of it off. Might even clean my cab beans off. I get the lifters out of the bucket first before I go moving this thing too far. Actually, not before I go moving it too far, before somebody hops in it and goes moving it and discover that the lifters are still in there. made more of an effort to blow this off if I knew we were going to get rain. They were giving us a 30% chance of one millimetre.
like I said before, I really would have made a bit more effort to uh, get that front end blown off if I had known we were going to get that amount of rain. I thought we were just going to get maybe a, a light shower or something like that. And end up raining uh, on and off for uh, 12 hours, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not even done there yet, that's the worst thing. There's still all this stuff underneath and uh, it's all wet and yucky. I've had enough of that for now. I'm gonna go do something different for a bit. <laughs> Come back to this in a minute. So what I am gonna go do now, it's dried out a little bit out here. I'm going to go and collect the last of those rocks. While I'm thinking about it, while there's no sheep out there, while the gates are open, no better time than right now. I didn't have to go far. An exceptional haul of rocks from that one little area. I get excited about it, but you know, that's not the sort of thing that you want the front of your header to see during harvest, so it's good to get them out of the ground now. I've got good visibility, like I said, on this beans double, so Whew, see what else we can find. Let's go back and get this header in the shed. What are you doing, Meg? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey? Hello? Hello? covered in rotten beans and barley and wheat. <laughs> oh, well, I just about threw my neck out trying to reverse this thing in here. Absolute pain. For those of you who've done it before, you know what I'm talking about. It's because you got the two pivot points. You got the pivot point at the at the pin where it's connected up to your to your vehicle, and then you got the pivot point here on the turntable. Oh man! We'll see if we can get the header in here. Call it a day. I'll fold the steps in so I don't knock them off on something. Give me a bit of extra clearance. Ah, what was I worried about? Oodles of room, oodles of room. But uh, nonetheless, it's in, I'm done. I'm going to have a Christmas break. Cannot wait for it either, let me tell you. Been a long time coming. It's another successful harvest in the books. We've been uh, blessed this year, I would say. Had an absolute cracking year. We didn't have too much weather damage really in the end. It was looking like we might have some wind damage. We got away with that. We not, didn't get any significant rainfall which could also have downgraded or damaged the crops. It's all in the silo. And now it's time for me to go and have a rest. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you all back here in a while. Cheers. Say goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye. Say goodbye.